I think of the sounds as like an initiator of dialogue. That's been one thing that's attracted me and cemented me with this music is its ability to create spaces where people can feel really welcome. Really hard to be present in the 21st century and music really does that for me like it really it really grounds me especially now like with the kinds of sets that I've been doing I can just like look into the crowd and really take their energy into me and process it through these machines I just have this kind of brain where I can just pick out similarities between very disparate things and be able to stitch them together. And I try to do that with my sounds. Like, I'm starting to make more music that pulls directly from sounds that are kind of latent to Bermuda. Like, in Bermuda, there is this tradition of dance that um, these people called gumbays would do, where essentially gumbays were slaves who wore like very colorful garbs and masks so that the masters wouldn't know who they were and they would play like really fast drums and really deep rhythms and so some of the stuff that I'm working on now very much pulls from that rhythm style. The way that I kind of see it is that these things are already in me and the tools just help kind of extract them or exercise them in a way. Especially with the with utilizing the form of dance music, it's not about the it's not about the club. It's not about going out and losing your inhibitions or escaping. It's about connecting with yourself. So I just I really at the core just try to help people connect with themselves. The fuck out of here. There are like multiple consciousnesses that I'm working with, specifically things around gender and being a black person in this world and being the kind of black person that I am in this world. And I'm from a really tiny island that a lot of people don't know about. Especially the last couple of sets that I've been doing have, have been a lot about healing. Healing myself, but then also just like self-liberation. Like I'm really big on that. You know, I'm, I'm all about having you know people close to you that can support you and help you but at the end of the day like we can only really help ourselves as angry as i might feel or unsafe or any other kind of negative feelings that i might have like i ch i chose to live like that happened for me at one point when i was When I was really young, I, I, there were times where I really did not want to live. And in lots of ways, this shit just saved me. Like music just saved me in like so many ways. I'd say that you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay and Things are gonna be hard sometimes. 
but you're gonna, you're gonna find your people and you're gonna be okay. I just imagine Herbie Hancock on this shit, just like oh, yeah. shredding. Herbie Hancock had a couple of those. <laughs>